Hi boys and girls, today we're going to paint a color wheel. This is just a six stage color wheel and we're going to do it on a paper plate. You'll start out with the primary colors and I keep them in these squirt bottles. You'll have a set at your table and then these paper clips are on top. They're sort of like little plungers in case they um, get clogged. You can unclog them then. And you just put a little bit on your palette. We're using notebooks for our palette. And then always put that paper clip back in there after you're done, especially before you put it away. Now when I paint with whenever or whatever I paint with yellow, I always use it first and I clean my brush. I pr clean it before I use it because anything in my brush any little smidgen of paint that someone left in there is going to change that yellow to another color since yellow is so light. I always squeeze my brush out because I don't want it to be watery. I want it to color completely or cover completely um, and I don't, I don't want to make a tint of yellow and that's what happens when your paint gets watery. The white of the paper mixes in. So then I can put it in any slice of the color wheel I like and make sure that you paint in the entire section. Don't leave any white spots. Go right out to the edge. Now I've got a nice clean yellow. Then, rinsing my brush, wiping it, not tapping. I don't want a splatter mess. I'm going to squeeze this and now I can put the red. Now I'm going to skip one and put the red here. I could put it there, but it doesn't really matter the order. As long as you skip a slice of the color wheel so that we can put our secondary colors here. The primaries, we call this a triad because it's like a triangle the way it's arranged. Rinse your brush. Right. Now I'm ready to mix the orange. So I'm going to put some more yellow on my palette. Not too much, about the size of a nickel or a dime. And then I need a little bit of red. Now don't squirt it into the yellow because you don't know exactly how much you're going to need. So I'm just going to put it over here, just a tiny bit, and mix it in. Now you got to remember that yellow is a very light color. You don't need much red in it at all. So it's the proportion of red to yellow is very tiny. Just a little smidgen will really change it. And here's the challenge for you. Try not to mix it really big. Because if you mix it big, your paint dries out. So I'm going to try to mix that into a very small gob of orange. Now I have mixed yellow orange. It's that color. It's a tertiary color, or it's also called intermediate. I'm not to orange yet, so I've got to add a little bit more. If I add too much, I'll end up with a red orange, but that looks just right. It's going to be a definite, yep, that looks good. If I got too much red in it, it would look too much like red, and we call that red orange. And then I like to always do the edge first. That gives me a safety zone when I paint. And then I fill in. You can go a little quicker once you get and notice how I just glide my brush. That makes a nice edge. And you have to have enough paint. If you don't have enough paint, your paint brush won't glide. And then you do the same thing for the green and the blue and the purple. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of green, I mean blue and put into the yellow and I think that's more of a yellow green. 
just right there. I haven't gotten to the green yet. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue. And there you go, you get a nice green. Make sure that you mix up all of the yellow <coughs> so that you get a color that's consistent. If you don't mix it completely, you may pick up more yellow and it might turn yellow green. With the purple section, you can mix equal amounts because they're both pretty intense colors. They're, they're very dark, but I never mix them together um, by squirting one on top of the other. I always like to put them separate and then I mix a little into the other until I get the color that I want. It's probably going to look black on the video, but that's a very dark purple, but it is purple. And there you go, you have your color wheel. Six stage color wheel. Now one last thing, to clean the palette, you don't have to do, use any water. You just fold it over. And then I fold it over again. And then peeling that off completely, you just throw that away and put it back in the bin.